there is uh, an element of uh, not living up to the realities of what is in the ground because the concerns which have been raised are genuine mm. and uh, the the evaluation process over the system the issues which have been flagged in this curriculum design yeah. need to be addressed if we have to move forward mm. i do agree that there are proponents of uh, of this uh, view mm. that the this curriculum is irrelevant mm -hmm and may not address the needs of this generation and maybe of this century. Yeah. But one thing which is very positive about this curriculum is that it is learner-centered mm. and it is also problem-centered. Mm. Uh, going backwards to the system that we are coming away from, That's 844. 844, right. you realize that it was reduced to focus on the outcomes of results mm -hmm. and the results which were not reflective of the understanding or which could solve the problems of the society. Yeah. So the change was necessary to, to inject further uh, realities of the day mm. because we are living in a society which is now globalized and yeah. we have to do certain jobs online. Mm -hmm. we, to, we, we have to look at individual interests. Mm. We should not have a lot of uh, failures yeah. as as it were mm. that we have uh, we are churning out those people who are hopeless in the society yeah so the only industry that they look at us at currently is maybe we go to border border kind of, of industry mm. so that is what is there if and it was focused on traditional uh, uh, fields like law mm. uh, teaching yeah. and maybe medicine and engineering yes and which of course after finishing school you have nothing to do mm. because it did not prepare you adequately to face the challenges within uh, which are realities of the day